Okay guys, this is a video, a special video also that I'm doing for you too, but I'm doing live here. Nation's cap, questions Hi, and answer, guys. Hope you are doing well, amigo. Who will participate in the tournament? Okay, that's very simple. We have uh, four teams invited, Canada, Brazil, Finland and China. And then there's all the 16 teams that made the cut and they are here, you know, and it's, this is the four, the four teams that the four pools we have, you know, the number seat one is Argentina, France, Vietnam, Russia. Then we have a second pool with Germany, Mexico, Turkey, Taiwan, then Chile, Poland, USA, Spain, Romania, Austria, India and Italy. OK, those are, you know, more questions. <sighs> Remember how is the future looking? We can talk about that later. Now about Nations Cup. What else you want to know, guys? More things that you want to know, and we talk about it. Okay? Let me put the chat in front of you, and you can you can see. Tell me, guys. What else you want to know? The map pool. The map pool is the following. Very standard and very natural and good questions. Okay. The map pool is here. African clearing. Alpine. Arabia, Arena, Big Fris, Chaos Pit, Coastal Forest, Grand Barra, Land Madness, Land Nomad, and Nomad. That's, if I'm not mistaken, 11 maps, you know? 11 maps. More things that you want to know. The maps are going to be good, by the way. There were some conditions from the sponsor. The sponsor is from Thailand. It's not Chinese, by the way, you know? He didn't want water maps. I mean, it's not like he suggests. No. If we didn't do it like this, no tournament, no money, no 50k, no water maps, and he wanted 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, and 4v4. Also, in every city, it should be at least one nomad map, you know? When he said that he didn't want water maps, I almost jumped from happiness, <laughs> you know? So that's it. I don't like double nomad. What is double nomad? La nomad and nomad is not double nomad. La nomad has nothing to do with nomad, uh, Jimmy Raynor. Migration is not there. We saw a lot of migrations in Warlords. It's not needed migration, to be honest. You know? Can you show the player from each country who is attending? I will, but later. Now we have a lot of, a lot of things to talk. Hard question. Provides that will not participate and why? L we can go for one by one, one uh, by one. Tell me names and then I will answer because I don't want to miss anyone. And I will tell you the reasons that they gave to me or to my admins. What I didn't notice. Individual GC, GCL groups? No. It's two groups for pla uh, of four teams, you know? Then, if you win two games in the group stage, you are qualified directly into, into the semifinals. Because there's going to be eight teams. Obviously, it's going to be a quick tournament, you know, a, a super smooth one. If you lose one game, win one game, lose one game, then it's going to be a decider, let's say, an elimination match, and the winner of those, you know, it will go to the quarterfinals with the loser of the other team. And that's it. Why not Norway? As far as I know, they didn't have a competitive team because NBL didn't want to sign up because he wanted to only play if he's 2v2. So then Viper has no team and they don't sign up. Because without them, they will they wouldn't make into the into the top sixteen, you know. That's it. I tried to talk with MBL, but he only wanted to it uh, two v two. Simple. What well, silver league? Well, uh, silver league is the problem with silver league is that silver league is a lot of work, a lot more work even than than the main event probably, and I don't really have money for that. And nobody want to administrate, nobody want to run that without being paid, which is understandable. If I can't get a sponsor, we will do a silver league. 
But without money, what we can do nowadays? Nothing. Brazil is invited. Rubrias rocks. Brazil is already in the main event. Those were the 16 teams. These teams that I'm going to show you one more time. These teams are for the qualification stage. To those 16 teams, you have to add Canada, Brazil, Finland, and China. Those are already in the main event. And these 16 are fighting for four spots more. Okay? You know, that's it. Okay? More questions. I mean, the good thing is that they keep recording so you can go back and forward and check when you are watching this on YouTube. Why Hera don't play? I didn't speak with him directly. You know, because he gave a feedback in the server that I'm going to read literally because it's public, is there. And he said, if I find it, because people have talked a lot since he said the feedback. Hera said on the 8th of September, 10 days ago, early feedback for Nations Cap. The whole event should be 4 before. If not, please don't tell us to have delay on streaming, having to sit out games because it's 2v2 and not be able to cast it because we're on 2 minutes stream delay. is horrible. We have seen this play out poorly in the 3v3 WDC tournament. Giving the same feedback here. I personally won't be playing the event if there's a stream delay plus 2v2, 3v3, mix it in. That's it. Then Rorimbo answered. The mixture of format has been a requirement for the sponsor. We cannot remove. As for the 2 minutes of spec delay, it's a key anti-cheating measure. As far as I know, they've been talking with Rorimbo and the other and the other heavily Chorus, the other sponsor, the other admin, sorry, and that if we get the compromise, if I'm not mistaken, that if the tournaments, sorry, if the teams agree to don't have delayed, he will sign up. But then the answer was the same no, because I don't think that all the teams need to have the responsibility or the or to be in the position to to say to others, okay, you can stream. No, I think that's something that the admins, the tournament hosts and the admins, we need to take the decision. Because in mind, they are playing against Italy or whatever. They feel pressure. Why they have to feel that pressure? And probably they don't want, you know? And also, I think that a tournament with $50,000 on the line need the anti-cheating, you know? That's it, you know? That's the only thing why he's not playing, so... Okay? We're talking about Hera. And Leary told me, I talked to him, and he said that he didn't want the one we want to be too. So that's it, you know? I believe that he was also against the delay, but since he never had been streaming, don't think that was his main problem. So that's why. And then obviously that has an impact into their teams because, well, one team is a lot weaker now, like Austria. Canada is still very strong, but with Hera, they would be one of the favorites. Now they, there is not one of the favorites, that's for sure. Or not of the big favorites. More questions. Uh, Viper, okay. How many players per team? Six to eight. Minimum six, maximum is eight. Vietnam didn't sign up him. Is doubt part of any team? Doubt is part of Spain. We play with Tato. What the hell is that question? My goodness. I have an answer already about MVL. You can check in the bot. That's, I told with Leary already, and uh, listen, about having to sit out. Best of five, you have to sit out one game, because you play the 1v1. Let's say Leary with Astra play the 1v1. They win, and then he has to sit out the 2v2. Only the 2v2. He can play all the other games. Then freaking Andy, other teammate, go play the 2v2 and win the games. They are 2-0. And then they can play all the games. They have to sit one game. And in the best of seven, one game as well. That's it. You know? So it's not a big deal. I don't want to talk about the do the WDC because best of three 1v1, it makes it a lot longer because it's a best of three. It's three games. And if the games got one hour, but in this case, it was only one game, you know?
Well, I mean, I'm sad that they don't play. What can I say? But it's their decision. Like, if they don't want to play, I feel... I feel bad because I want I wanted to make this tournament for something that can make I don't know a good atmosphere with people with their teammates with their countries and so on. But well, uh, you know. And I think the settings were were amazing according to the to uh, because we were forced to make some settings because it's what the sponsor wanted. So was that or not hosting? And then talking with my team, we were thinking, well, if some things have crazy 1v1 players and we let them play 1v1 and 2v2 they will destroy everyone right so at least to make the most balance possible people that has people like Leary like Hera you know and like some others if they played in the 1v1 their best player he cannot play the 2v2 but only in the best of five because in the best of seven there is two two versus two and they only cannot play the first the second 2v2 they can play so I think we were thinking the best for the whole thing, you know? Trying to make the most balance possible, to make the best settings possible. And then they decide to not play. Well, I mean, I feel bad, yes, uh, sad, and and at a certain point disappointed. Because I really thought that it was going to be hype for, for all people, you know? Yeah. But well, it's what it is. Another player is missing. Uh, what else? Who else is missing? What other pros are missing? Well, I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. I'm checking the teams here. This is the teams, guys. The points that they got. Australia got the cut. Hong Kong, Uruguay. Sebastian signed up, but he couldn't make the cut. It's a pity. For example, Great Britain, United Kingdom. If Lewis sign up with them, they will be inside. You know? If Lewis will will be will sign up with them, they will be on the main event. United Kingdom. Same for Peru. If Hart join it with them. Because they have a 2.1k team. And if Hart was with them, since he is Haigas is 2.8k and current 2.7, they will be also inside uh, over India and Italy. Other than those. I think nobody else is missing. We have crazy, amazing teams, you know, uh, like really crazy, amazing team. Look at Germany without Jordan, for example, seven with 2.5 K, which is crazy. You know, all this data guys is posted in my discord. You can see all the information in the main TV event discord, you know, are going to be a silver leak. If we have, if we find a sponsor for it and someone that run it, yes, if not, I don't have resources and time to do it, you know? Many people ask for it, but nobody want to 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 organize, to take, you know, to to help with this understandable because it requires a lot of time and they want to be paid and I don't have money to pay. If the tournament is a success, if the tournament is a success and maybe I do a donation goal, but I don't want to push my community with a donation goal right now because I will have to pay the production of the main event, graphics, videos, promos, the admins, you know. Free. And, you know. Well, Faultier, as to them, I mean, I think what they did, it was their choice, and I will never understand why they did it. You know? What else I can say? You know? I'm very disappointed, but that's it, you know? Yeah, as simple as that, you know? I didn't even try to convince. I, I tried to I tried to convince a little bit more Leary, because I'm going to be honest, because uh, I consider Leary my friend, you know? And that's why. Then I asked Hart and, and NBL yesterday, Hart, and a few days ago, hey, NBL, why you don't play with, no, with Viper? I mean, with Viper, and I said to him, or, no, or I didn't say, maybe I didn't say, I don't know. But I was thinking, I was thinking that Viper and NBL with Keller, top eight easy. At least, you know, with these settings, uh, absolutely, you know, amazing. And also, it would be fun for them, you know, to make some different combinations. I think it's about that, to have fun and also getting quotes 
I would say, uh, in quotes, uh, easy money, you know? So, yeah. No, no, the tournament is going to be, I mean, I'm convinced that the tournament is going to be great. I I'm really convinced that, that the tournament is going to be great and it's going to be amazing. Yeah. I want to say that, and this is not question and answer that you're giving here. We didn't have more time to make it bigger for more teams. You know, yes, we're talking on, on the nation's cap. I wish I could have done not 16 qualifiers, 32, 64, you know, the most countries or that the, all the countries do it. But look, listen, we are already with the World Desert Championship that is not close to be finished. Then right away, Red Bull, you know, that is going to be there. And um, all that people that is involved in nation's cap is going to be there myself and my admins so we cannot be working in the nation's cap during that week so we don't have literally time to do it bigger teams because we don't have time you know and we didn't want to to overlap with all the tournaments you know and we we got four weeks to make the main event and the last round of qualifiers how can i integrate more teams for people that will need to schedule with Eight players at least every time. We cannot, right? I mean, we cannot, you know. No, I mean, I'm not, I, yeah, I, I'm not worried about that, but you know, but feel bad still. Do you think this is good for the community thought? If some of the pro players don't sign up, it might give you more players the chance to win and stay competitive, competitive AOE for longer. Well, maybe. But for example, for, for, for Austria, what's a great opportunity to make them a, a, a good event and be, you know, in uh, in good sp spot there and get some good prize. Now it's going to be very hard because now Austria will have to face, for example, this is the truth, you know, Austria is 14 sitting. They will have to face in first round Argentina, France, Vietnam or Russia. Can Austria beat Argentina, France, Vietnam or Russia? Oh boy. Well, they will be top eight probably. You know? So it's, it's complicated, you know? And well, Canada is not here, but but Canada is sit now number 10. And look at their Elo without Hera. Almost 2.5k. They will be with Hera top three? Probably, right? Top three. Most likely. So obviously it has an impact for their teammates, is what I mean. But well, is I believe that they they talk with their with their teammates, so nothing they can do. I have to say it's amazing you are organizing this. I know that team game tournaments are crazy for the organization, but so fun to watch. Well I can tell you that it's gonna be my last team game tournament, at least that that is gonna be the best tournament ever. You know, too much stress, guys. Too much stress, sleeping bad. And and you might say, oh, don't cry. Don't be a victim. Is it true? Because when I'm hosting tournaments, I put all my heart, you know, and I put all my motivation. And eh, with all these things, I, I just lose the motivation, you know, really. I, I, I lose the motivation because, yeah, this would be all hype and no problems, in my opinion, you know. And well, all these things. Look of Serha can sponsor the Civil League, he has the money. Oh my god. Anyway, can we change? More things that you want to know about the about the tournament. Remember, this is a question and answer for YouTube as well. We need to help the YouTubers as well for what they need to know. I mean, do you have an idea about all all the, the stuff till now? We have talk about the sponsor. We have talked about the maps, the teams that are going to participate. Why we do it with uh less teams and other editions you know uh, what were the reasons of the players to don't participate some of the pro players what else well my team convinced me to to host the 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 nation's cap they convinced me to host it and they convinced me one time i'm getting old your personal favorite team is Spain, and maybe your position on the winner. Well, I will. I want to see. I want to see Argentina play with all these Nico and Capoch together. Really, 
Hi, how have you been in contact with Sachs? With Mr. Yo. With Mr. Yo. Does Spain have Tato? Yes. Tatito, Talan. Spain has a good team. I hope that they make it to the main event. Not gonna lie. I want to Spain to qualify for the main event. That's for sure. What is their seeding? They are 12. So they could do it. I hope they do it. It's gonna be so interesting, the deciders. Like crazy. Like really crazy. And remember that we have Brazil seeding is, I saw we already, but Brazil seeding is number five. They are seed number five. Um, yeah, Lan has been active lately a lot. I think it's just to get on shape for the tournament. They have tattooed Lan and yeah, more good players, man. So they have really, in my opinion, a good team and a good chance because remember, the 1v1, the 2v2 combos, there's many things that they can practice. By the way, the settings are fixed. What I mean fixed is that the maps, you know, the rounds and, and so on, you know, it's all known in advance. You know, like the format is game one, 4v4, game two, 1v1. We didn't want that the 1v1 decide at any point in a match point, you know? It feel, it's feel bad that a team game tournament is being decided by the 1v1. So we put in the second. We open 4v4, 1v1. Then 4v4, the game one. Then game two, 1v1. Then get, look at the format, guys. They didn't even think about this, guys. The players that didn't want to participate don't even have to sit down First, because one of the team was invited. And second, if you win 3-0 in a best of five, how many games have Hera to sit out here? Can you tell me? How many games have to sit out here? Can you tell me if they win 3-0? You know? How many games? Zero. <laughs> Zero. Players who played game two can't play game four. So he will only sit down also Leary, of course, uh, here. I'm telling this because those are the ones that they didn't want to play because of those uh, sit down, you know, sit out. So probably wouldn't have, you know, at all. And it's three rounds, the tournament, so wouldn't be too much. Anyway, we have 4v4, 1v1, 3v3, 2v2, and 3v3 for best of five. Best of seven is, if I'm not mistaken, the same, but then 2v2 and 4v4. Again, so we have 2-2-2, two, 2-3-3, two, 2-4-4 two, two, three, three, two, four, four. in, in game best of seven with no restriction for the players. But we have also the maps. I don't know. This is not, it's not added here. Yes, 2-2 two, two, and 4-4. Four, four. But I need to show you, but we have the maps, you know. And the maps, I'm going to show you here on Discord. Uh... Where is the format? Okay. Look, we have the format fixed. Okay. This is the Discord, guys. Do you see it, guys? Uh, uh, um. Do you see, right? Is it good enough or I make it bigger? It's, it's good or not? By the way, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I need the the slow chat anymore, the slow mode anymore. I will put use uh, off. Yes. Okay, I will make it bigger. One moment, please. Okay, so the the qualification round one is four v four nomad. The second game arena, three v three coastal forest. 2v2 Big Freeze and 3v3 Arabia. So the teams can already know the maps really well. You know, really well. That's the, the first round. Then they decided the finals for the qualifiers is game one, 4v4, land nomad. Remember, requirement for the sponsor, always a nomad game in, in the series. So here we change land nomad, Arabia, coastal forest, 2v2 Arena and 3v3 Grand Barra. That is the one from Battle of Africa. This map is amazing, remember. And for 3v3, probably even more. And then we have 
Well, we try to change all and not repeat anything, you know? You know, African clearing, Alpine, big phrase, coastal forest, and Arabia. As you can see, most of the times the four before first is nomad, you know, not always. But when it's not, for example, in this one, four before arena, then one by one nomad, three by three Grambara, two by two coastal forest, and three by three land madness. We try to make a full variety of formats with similar maps but different formats. You know, four before land nomad, Arabia, Chaos Pit. This is in the quarterfinals, three v three Chaos Pit, <laughs> big freeze, and three v three arena. Well, I just really hope that the, the, the variety bring a lot. You know, then we start semifinal with 4v4 Arabia, 1v1 Alpine from Warlords, 3v3 Nomad, 2v2 Arena, 3v3 Grand Barra from, from uh, Battle of Africa, Big Freeze, and it decider 4v4 Land Nomad. That can be crazy. As you see, the deciders in this team game tournament, if it's needed, it is Land Nomad. Also, for the Grand Final and the semifinals. That's the decider. So, some consistency and some variety as well. For for arena, well, those are the settings. It's on Discord. Yeah, no draft. We see all the maps, Kukuro. That's another thing. We see all the maps in the tournament because sometimes the tournaments you see more or less always the same maps, you know. So we try to put most of the maps kind of even during the during the tournament, you know, and and that's it, you know, and that's it. Grand Grand Barra only for 3v3 because that map is designed for 3v3. The script is designed for 3v3 because we did it specifically for Battle of Africa. And with 4v4 can bring some more weird generations. Yeah, it has it has had cracked terrain. Yeah, I mean you have to think about this thing, Andy. When you are doing some of those maps that you put in in different formats, the map is not the same. You know, the map is not the same. And remember that that map has the, the the super thin lines to go outside. If you make different formats, maybe in some spot for the players, it's going to be three, four lines. It's going to be more complicated. It can be, it can be booged, let's say. What about this link? Good question. Good question. Yeah, you cannot as link from feudal to castleage, for example, for feudal to imperial. You have to always sling same age or below, you know? Feudal to feudal, usually people not going to sling feudal to feudal, but well, castle to castle age. Castle to imp cannot sling either, you know? And then in Imperial, you can sling if you are in Imperial, you know? What? Fire! Ah, oh, well, it was gifted by Palamich, okay. A la mierda, fire. And hambre! I will disobey at Farland Mike Palin in Scry Saudada the Presente. And the hambre! Tomar viento! You know why I don't like this tournament, guys? It's the only tournament that fire cannot be eliminated in the qualifiers. Fuck this. It's the, it's the only tournament, man. Fire, don't tell me that you don't feel good. Finally, finally, you are invited to, to a tournament, huh? You are invited to a tournament. You are real VIP now. So if I don't have fire to co cast, what am I going to do? I will get Andy when he loses in the qualifiers, guys. <laughs> you know? Sorry, Andy. Sorry, man. Goku. What's up, man? Well, okay. More questions about the tournament. I, I'm obviously always joking with uh, with Mr. Fire. Um, have we covered the most important? Is there anything else that we need to to know? Now, seriously, please talk now. We want to cover anyway below the stream when when I upload on YouTube. You tell me, guys, and I will answer, you know. So every player should play at least one match in rounds? No. That's too many conditions, you know. Too many conditions. Why we make six players at least to sign up? Imagine that Fire gets sick, which is impossible because he has the best health 
ever. Also, imagine that Pyre lose the connection, which is also impossible because he never loses the connection, you know? Imagine that Fire is raining at home and then he also loses the connection because of that. It's impossible, but just, just imagine that that can happen, you know? Then if you have six players, they can still play, okay? Imagine that Fire lose the power, right? You know what I mean. Well, that's it, and to, to have the most people involved possible, you know, as well. Even if you have players that don't play some games, when you are part of the team, to talk about the strategies, to practice, because if you have six players, you can practice 2v2, 3v3 in your own country. And if you have eight, you can even practice the 4v4 without all the teams, you know? So we hope that this is going to be good for 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 the teams to practice and uh, and stuff. As I said, the the only thing that um, I will love to to do it is that we could make more teams participate, but we couldn't in this this time. I mean, when people even ask about that, I did one king of the desert, 64 players main event. Guys, 64 players main event. Main event 64 players. We did it. I think you know the desert four it was or, or I don't know, and in one of the tournaments we did thirty two players on group stage. Oh, always trying to to bring the most slot possible for the main event, but if we cannot, we cannot, man. It's as simple as that, you know. Anyway, anything else, or we keep going with uh, with the stream. Any question that you want to ask? Something that I'm forgetting. I don't know. You tell me, please, because I want to stop the video for the YouTube. Hidden picks. That's always. The hidden picks is always, obviously. Oh, well, the draft for civilizations, it has. If I'm not mistaken, I'm talking by memory, three bank global per team. And then they can pick hidden the first five civilizations. They have five civilizations, if I'm not mistaken, hidden pick. So they can have up to five civilizations mirror, you know? Because there's many maps and many good ships that they want to probably pick. And then it makes that you can also mm, uh, um, prepare more properly, you know? Because you know that you will have some of your civilizations like 100%. Like you can practice something with, with the good ships and with the bad ships, you know? Okay. Well, if I have time to organize on so much, we will see about this with teams that uh, didn't get into the main event. That's a good idea. But I need time and need to get the money for the so much. I have put everything in the main event <clears throat> because the money is from... Uh, I mean, when I get sponsored by Microsoft, I organize the money however I feel through the event. This one is a 50k, 50k for the main event. That's it, you know? If, for example, you know, I usually can uh, organize the money differently with, with Microsoft. I have more freedom, let's say, which is not bad. I mean, I don't mind. With, uh, I mean, remember that this sponsor, guys, donated to host it uh, in the last month 70k, man. You remember the one we won Arabia? 20k that I think was won by Sebastian. It was an amazing tournament, right? It was an amazing tournament. No, it sucks. Sucks, you know, sucks. You know, and then now 50k, so we need to keep it. Hopefully, we will be able to keep it, which I don't know, to be honest. I don't know. Anyway, hopefully you have enjoyed, guys. If you are watching this video, you have more questions below the stream on YouTube. Thumb up, subscribe, leave a commentary, and give me all your questions, okay? And stay tuned.